I do like the website Pro Football Focus, profootballfocus.com. I've started following it a number of years ago, and actually it wasn't used that much in the media because I had talked to some NFL people, and I said, you guys are all getting your cry analytics, which is the one website that kind of uh, – gives the best data for the average person. They said Pro Football Focus. Another one is Pro Football Outsiders or Football Outsiders. By the way, go take a look at it. You get a lot of numbers in there. It'll make your head explode. But here's where I'm going with this. Pro Football Focus came out with projecting the best offensive lines for 2017. What team's going to have the best offensive lines? I was curious on this because the Browns put a bunch of money in their offensive line. You know, Kevin Zeitler, $60 million. J.C. Treater, $17 million. Zeitler's a guard. Treater is a center. They extended Joel Batonio's contract. That's a $50 million extension. Remember, some of these contracts are not fully guaranteed. Basically, when, for example, like Batonio, you hear $50 million, you can pretty much cut it in half, like $25 million guaranteed. We all should be in a situation where we could say, you know, only $25 million of my $50 million is guaranteed. What a tragedy. All right, point being, those are the guys there, and you have Joe Thomas. They projected the Browns' offensive line to be number two Second best in the NFL. By the way, they have Philadelphia as number one. Browns at number two. So I'm thinking, all right, let's look at the line. Joe Thomas, left tackle. I mean, he's a, he's still an elite player. Next to him, left guard, assuming he's healthy, and that's a big thing because he's coming off foot surgery, is Joel Batonio. And then at center, you've got uh, Treater. The new right guard is Zeitler. Right tackle's wide open. The incumbent, because he just is coming back for 60-some snaps, is Sean Coleman. He was a rookie last year, hardly played. They had a guy named Austin Pazer a year ago. He is, as far as I looked the other day, he still hasn't even been picked up by anybody. He started most of the game. So they do need a right tackle. Um, I'm a little concerned on this about the center position, because Treeter, while he was a good player at Green Bay when he was healthy, in three different seasons he had significant injuries. So we've seen what happens to the Browns when they lose one of their centers, be it Alex Mack or somebody else. You know, they have this kid behind him named Austin Ryder. He played one game last year in Washington, played extremely well, and on the last play of the game, he suffered an ACL injury, he was out for the year. Uh, they have another center named Fabiano. Thankfully, I heard this, that Cameron Irving, who drove me nuts, number one pick back in 2015. Remember, he started last season at center, and he fell apart. They're not going to look at him as a center. They're going to throw him, as they would say, in the pile. I always like that. Throw him in the pile for right tackle behind Sean Coleman. Did the Browns have the second best line in the NFL? I doubt it. By the way, they rated Pittsburgh number three. Baltimore, number 21. Cincinnati, number 30. So the Steelers are right, right behind the Browns. The Ravens, 21. Bengals, 30. Number one, by the way, is Philadelphia. So we'll see. But, you know, it made me feel good because I thought the Browns had really upgraded their line with the moves they've made. And when they do their stats projecting forward, uh, pro football thinks the same. Pro football focus thinks the same. So at least that's a reason for hope. Because remember last year, what team led the NFL in giving up sacks? Your very own Cleveland Browns. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. 